Now here's a delightful young woman who, who really just got out of college, uh, I think a year or two ago, and she studied studio art. So she was like an artist, a sculptor or whatever, you know, and uh, could get a job. I mean, you, know, you go and look on newspapers or, um, you know, uh, these big websites for jobs or whatever and find studio artists. No, there's no such thing, you know. But she lives up in a little town. You know, upstate New York, she said, well, there's more cows than people. You know, no way she's going to get us. And she wanted to stay there. No way she's going to get a studio art job. So she wants to stay in this little community. <laughs> and she had a, uh, a friend she wanted to stay with and everything. And so they were all set to stay there. But there was no work, particularly as a studio artist. What is she going to do? Well, she went on the Internet. And these websites, you know, SD and uh, Amazon, Handmade and things like that, and even eBay, how she started her own business. Takes nothing. And what she was doing, she found out, she figured out how to make little glass jewelry, make jewelry with glass objects on it. She just loves doing that. Yeah. And so she started that business. Now she's still working part time. She <laughs> works at night at Home Depot. But every day she runs home, you know, and, and works on her artwork that she's selling to people all over the globe on the Internet. And that gives her motivation and energy every day of her life to keep doing that because now she has hope. Man, she could stay in this town and build this little business. And she's making ends meet by, by going to Home Depot and, and working yeah, and wearing the funny clothes or whatever they make, make you wear. Yeah. But she's willing to put up with it. I mean, just think if you were a, uh, an actor, how you wait on tables or whatever. I mean, that's the old story. Well, now the rest of us, too, should think like that. Because there are things we could do, sure, to make income. And there's easier ways to make income. You know, with Uber, or Airbnb, or TaskRabbit, Handy, all these other things that make it so much easier to get extra income while we're working on our real thing we want to do in life. Maybe it's like it's our own business and she has her own business now selling art stuff. Now, again, which is interesting to me, if she was trying to make art pieces for big companies or for big stores in the mall or something like that, man, that would never happen probably because there's the big companies need objects or goods that apply to everybody that everybody will like because they need millions and millions of sales. By having an internet business and putting it on the internet, you don't need millions. You need a couple hundred people. You got a hundred people sending you a hundred bucks a piece, man. You're doing okay. <laughs> you got no overhead or anything. So that's what it is. I mean, all these little markets now, and that's what I, it's great for artists to be able to do that, to share what's inside of them, you know, and for customers to get something unique that appeals to just them. You know, we go shop so much because we can't find anything that really talks to us, you know, because it's not us. It's something that's appealed to everybody and we're not everybody. So that's what's happening now is that all the stuff on the Internet is stuff that just appeals to small groups of people. But those small groups of people is a big business for just one artist, right? For one person. So anything you have, it's finding that market. Okay? And that's why with the Internet, it's, you don't have to have a store. You don't have to have your, your store in a big mall with a lot of traffic. No that would cost too much. You can't afford that. You can't afford the real estate, the fixtures, all that kind of stuff. It cost you 20 cents to do that on the internet because there are already platforms, as they call them, where people are looking for products all the time, like a big shopping mall, but it costs nothing to put your product there to see how well it does. See, And that's the beauty of what's going on in our society now. All this stuff. So you too, whatever your art is, it doesn't have to be painting jewelry, whatever. It could be writing a book. It could be fixing banjos or whatever the hell you want to do. You know, that's what's neat. So watch this. Well, Sarah Cook of GravityGlassStudio.com. <laughs> and tell us how you're a young person just graduated from college in the arts and you live in a city that there's more cows than people and you said how the hell am i going to get a job in the arts and you figured that out didn't you yeah i made my own job <laughs> wow that's terrific man and, and so what is gravity glass 
uh, Gravity Glass Studio do for folks? Uh, it provides truly handmade uh, artisan glass and hemp jewelry. Wow. Uh, so you're making handmade jewelry for people. Customize, huh? Uh, yeah, everything is actually made to the wearer specific size. Uh, ah. So when you order a bracelet or a necklace from me, you actually, you know, you're going to say Measure. exactly how long you want right. your necklace or your bracelet to be. So it fits you. <laughs> wow. So in other words, when you graduated, you went looking and there's no, the cows weren't hiring, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't fill out an application and get a job as a studio right. artist. For Especially as an artist, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and so now, but you're keeping life together as you're starting, because you've only been at this for a year or two out of college, right? Right. And right. so it's growing all the time, and you see maybe in another year, you will be able to do it and give up your day job. And yeah. what is your day job that's actually a night job? Yeah, my day job is actually a night job. Uh, I work overnights at Home Depot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they make you comb your hair different? No, no customers in the store, so I get to keep my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. See, with the suit, I like that. They threw me off TV shows and everything when I started wearing my TV shoe. Actually, even home shopping I used to do. They threw me off the air there, and I said, no, this is me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's what it is. So now you have a place to express what's really you in your work and share it with other people, don't you? Yes. <laughs> wow. What could be better than that? I mean, it's... And it's a struggle. It's not easy. You just don't put one website and make a zillion dollars, do you? No, you you know you, it's uh there's been a learning curve. You yeah. have to learn uh, SEO, you know, search engine optimization, right. and learn how to actually show up when people search for things. Uh, I also use uh, online selling platforms like the Handmade on Amazon that just ah, came right. out. Yeah, that's that's where my sales of. Uh, Increase the most. Really? Is by getting so you're all also on Etsy too? I'm on Etsy too, but I I've you know, from my experience with it, I've seen that there's more sellers than there are buyers. I see, yeah. Yeah, not everybody knows what you mean when you say, Oh yeah, I sell on Etsy. Well, what is that? Right, <laughs> you know? Exactly, right. Amazon you can relate Amazon, to. Everybody right. knows Amazon, yeah. Yeah. No, and that's true. I mean, Etsy, they do about a billion dollars, but still, that's why Amazon is there. You know, this is big. People are selling on the internet, you know, and, and, and you, people like you, I mean, see, I could buy something unique from you instead of going into the jewelry store or whatever and getting something that five million other people are going to get. Exactly. And then you don't need five million customers. You just need a few hundred, right? And you're okay. Right. Yeah. Right. And so now you see yourself as making a living on this eventually, right? Yeah, the way things are going, I definitely think I can. Yeah. You know, and that's my big dream. Wow. And, you know, to get to the point where I can't keep up with orders on my own and where I'll be able to hire other artists. Artists who can't get work. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, when I, was in, when I was in school, they made us read this book called Art and Fear. Oh, and it, it was kind of pr to prepare us for the art world after graduation. And there was a statistic in there that stood out to me that 5% of studio art graduates, only 5% of studio art graduates will be producing work five years after graduation. <gasps> and, you know, that that's terrible. I don't that's want... Hurts. And yeah. we need that creativity. To what we... Yeah. So I want, you know, I want people to see that you know hey five years later i'm still doing it yeah. and i'm inspiring other people to do it and Absolutely. yeah because i think before the internet you used to have to get your work into walmart only you know now yeah and like craft fairs and right. stuff that's another good right good way to sell your work and get out there but it you know it's yeah. it's a lot of work <laughs> but now you could go international and everything exactly. by just sitting up in Cowsville, New York, wherever this is, right? <laughs> yep, good old Bernard's Bay. Bernard Bay. Is it near the water? Are you on the water? Yeah, we're we're right off uh, the shore of Oneida Lake. Ah, I see. Well, it must be wonderful up there. So instead of having to move down to the city in New York City or something like that, man, you can stay there by the water and the cows and work your heart out, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful. And you say that the internet, also you're there to learn new things. It teaches you how to make new products and everything just by searching. Yeah, them. 
the the online glass artist community is huge, and everybody. You know, what was that word again? Like, huge. Did huh? you say huge? Ah, uh, Billy <laughs> Juzillo. <laughs> huge. Um, yeah. He. Uh, but yeah, the online glass artist com- community, it's it's huge. You know, people uh, people are constantly sharing new techniques and. You know, you're constantly learning from each other, wow. and it's like a big back and forth between artists. So, in other words, there's a way to, uh, uh, no matter what you're doing, you could really learn how to almost do anything from the free help that's available. You don't have to hire a yeah. consultant, right? Right. Right. Wonderful. Well, it's so nice to talk to you, and I'm so happy that someone is able to like, share their love with the world and their products and and share it with other people all over the world just because you figured out how to use the internet and you didn't have to hire some weird techie guy, right? (laughs) (laughs) You can do it yourself. And to find you, it's gravityglassstudio.com and you find Sarah Cook there. Right, and just all the wonderful Julie and the glass will keep her making glass and get to gravityglassstudio.com. Thank you so much, Sarah. Nice to meet you. you. Have fun up there with the cows. I will.